one of my colleagues, Min Ryamaji with USDA, um, ARS down in Fort Lauderdale, he discovered these insects and put them through something called host specificity testing. And what that basically means is he had to prove that the insects were only going to be eating air potato. The insects are safe to use. They're not toxic or anything like that. They're not going to bite people. The only thing that they do is eat our air potato. They take little bites out of the leaves and they will skeletonize the leaves. We released 315 beetles. There were four areas that the land manager kind of highlighted for us to do releases. We were able to do two of those today. Um, probably about a half acre in size was the, the first area that we targeted. Well, our daughter Paige uh, loves insects. She wants to be an entomologist and she's been interested in this program. We saw it at the state fair and we've seen some of them in our yard so she has been wanting to get some to release at our house. Air potato has these bulbs. They look like potatoes. They can be the size of a pea all the way up to the size of a softball and these insects they'll take little chunks out of it but they won't eat that. We have another insect that we're hoping to get a permit to release this, this year which eats those bulbs. Hopefully the vine itself will vine up and the insects will reach a population density high enough to eat the vines before they set the bulbs. The preliminary research is showing about a 25 to 70 percent reduction in air potato when these beetles are released. The citizens of Pinellas County, they'll no longer have to use thyme and herbicides to get rid of these air potatoes. These beetles will do it for them. And the nice thing is, is when they eat these air potatoes, they'll home in on other air potatoes and eat those.